Hi guys, Judy at Fabulous Yarn. We're just doing a quick tour because we just got our new colors in Madeline Tosh in the Silk Lace. And this is an amazing yarn. And pictures are great, but to see the real body of this yarn and how beautiful and lustrous it is, I thought we'd do a little bit of a video. So these are the new colors. Um, Brick House... Uh, Bonfire, uh, I think it's called Beach Bonfire. They're amazing colors and they're brand new. We're going to get them in all of the fibers. Tosh Light, Tosh Chunky, Pashmina, and Vintage. But this is our first batch, so I thought I'd share them with you. Take them one at a time. This is the first color. It's called the Radness. It's sort of similar to their um, other multis, like Holy Festival. It's a little paler and a little lighter. Just gorgeous. Next up, we have Glass Bottom Boat, and this is kind of a replacement for their other blue. I forget what it was called. It was a bright blue, um, and uh, this is their new substitution for that because they couldn't replicate the other color. You can see it's a little bit tonal, but look at the tone in that. And you can see this. This this is a thousand yards, so if you're a lace knitter, I can't knit lace. I'm crazy bad at it. I forget where I put my markers. I don't know where I am in the pattern, so I don't do it anymore. But if you're a lace knitter, this is the yarn. A thousand yards. Yeah, it's expensive, but it's pure silk and it's a thousand yards. I love this color. This is very antique -y. It's called pink clay. I don't know if you can see. It's very, very pale peach with, um, it's not really pink. So I'm glad they called it that, but it's, it's more of a a pinky flesh. Next up is Found Pottery. This is one of their multis again. Their splatter paints. Look at that um, color. It's got all kinds of speckles. Uh, green. It's got some neon uh, green in there. It's got pink. It's got blue. It's got aqua. Gorgeous. On an off-white base. Not really cream, but not bright white. Now this is, now this is a stunner. This is called Arctic. And I'm going to see, yeah, that's getting the color right there. My photographs on the website didn't really convey the intensity of this. The video is doing a better job. Look at how beautiful that is. Next up is undergrowth. Um, this is sort of a tealy blue aqua. It's not bright. It's very, very subtle. You can see, but look at how it glimmers. This is a really gorgeous silk color. Next up is geyser pool. This is kind of a soft gray. Got a little bit of blue in it, but not much. It's really, really a gorgeous gray. Now, you know that Tosh silk is a tuss of silk, so it's not like a finely polished silk. It's got a little bit of texture to it. You can see, I don't know if you can see that up close. I try and show that in the photographs. It's a two-ply, so it, it's just gorgeous. It reflects light, but it's not shiny. Next up is Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. We shortened it to Rocky Mountain. We couldn't fit that in our technical stats. So um, it looks a lot like firewood if you're familiar with that color. It's a little bit, uh, got a little bit more pink in it. This is a lovely color. I can imagine how this is going to knit up. If you're a lace knitter, this is going to be gorgeous. Okay, next is Cactus Flower. If you like pink, this is it. Look at this. This is beautiful. It's kind of a cherry, but it's also got some blues in there. It's a little purple. Or maybe, actually, it's probably more like fuchsia. That's called cactus flower. I sort of expected that to be a different color. Let's see. This one is Pendleton Red, I believe. Yes, look at Pendleton Red. This is a, a, a red that has some orange in it. It's not bright coral. Um, it has some orange. It has some yellow. Uh, it does sort of look like a Pendleton plaid, actually, when they always did that with yellow in the plaid. So that's kind of gorgeous. Uh, Pendleton plaid. That's going to be great in uh, vintage, too. Wow. Next up, ah, sea glass. This is one of my favorites. Look at that. Gorgeous. Sea glass is a bright emerald green. You know what they're talking about when they say sea glass. Now, this is my favorite. I don't know why they call it beach bonfire. A few people said it's because that's... Uh, what color uh, driftwood burns. So if that's true, that's true. Here it is. It's pink with charcoal splotches. Next is Pelican. It's kind of a soft gray. Got some cream in there though. It's not pure solid. If you look at the other gray we had, um, let's see, what was that called? Geyser. Here you can see them next to each other. And you wouldn't think seeing them separately that there was much difference, but next to each other you can see the Pelican has streaks. Uh, well, it's not streaky, it's tonal. It goes from 
green, it goes from gray to cream. And actually, it would make a great combination with this if you're doing one of those uh, Stephen shawls. A beautiful color. Uh, I haven't actually really seen a color like this from them before. It's a kind of a dusty orange, pale, very pale and gorgeous. Has some ochre in it and some brown, a little bit of cream, and it just softens it up. So that's brick dust. That's appropriately named. It's light and feathery like dust. And last but not least, Electric Rainbow. Now this is another one of their splatter colors. If you can tell, it's got pink, blue, aqua, cream, black, purple. This is everything. Um, anyway, this is a gorgeous color. So you can go and click on the links and look at each color individually. I shot them single stain at a time. I hope the video has given you a sense of how beautiful this yarn is. Remember, this is Tessa Silk, a thousand yards. Uh, you can make something beautiful out of this.